Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And while there's other videos loading, I don't know if this person's going to uh, engrave this or print this, but this has a yellow, almost like a shadow around it, or a yellow gray uh, outline. And so I've done a couple. I made a dupe. I'm actually going to send you the file, the person I'm doing this for. But to get that outline is pretty easy. I'm going to set my nudge distance on one inch. This is the part I'm going to put the outline on, so I'm going to get it out of the way. Now, if you look at this, none of your well tools are working because this is a curve. So we're going to control D and make a duplicate, and we're going to nudge that over. On that one, we're going to break the curve apart, and look what happens to the inside of the cake. It goes away. But now I can do an outline or a boundary. And I can move it right back to the other side. And now I have that. And you could also do this with a contour tool. But then we're going to move this over. And we're going to make it a gray. And we're going to make it a little bit thicker than a hairline. Say a half a point. And then move it over. So now if you were going to print this, which I doubt, you've got that gray outline around your tech. Now, it did not do the inside of this K part. Very easily done. Take the Smart Fill tool and let's make it something other than black. And let's fill that in with yellow. Let's nudge that out of the way. Let's left click. Let's left click, right click black. That should be the exact shape of that. Let's put it back. You can't see it. So now let's go to effects, contour, and we're going to contour to the inside. I mean, like 0 0.01 maybe in red. Too much. 0 0.001. See what happens. That looks good. We're going to go and break the contour apart. We're going to take our red. I want to nudge it over and we'll get rid of the black. Now the red is way over here. I'm going to nudge it back and I'm going to make it that same gray and make it a half a point. Put it over there. And now I have that same line on the inside and we need to do the same thing here, but I'm not going to for the video because it's that easy. And then you just take your whole logo and move it back. So the first thing I did this for, I'm going to send you these three logos. They're almost the same. This one has a little bit less of a K space. This one has a bigger space. Um, so if you're just going to cut this out, I don't see how you could cut this whole thing out. But you could engrave this. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.